Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 4. And the word of Shemuel came to all Yashara'el. Now Yashara'el went out against the Peleshitim to battle and pitched beside Iben Hazeer. And the Peleshitim pitched in Ephech. And the Peleshitim put themselves in array against Yashara'el. And when they joined battle, Yashara'el was smitten before the Peleshitim. And they slew of the army in the field about 4,000 men. And when the people were come into the camp, the elders of Yashara'el said, Wherefore has Yahuwah smitten us today before the Peleshitim? Let us fetch eth the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah out of Shiloh unto us, that when it comes among us, it may save us out of the hand of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh that they might bring from thence eth the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah Sevaoth which dwells between the Karavim and the two sons of Eli, Chopani and Painichach, where there, with the Ark of the Covenant, rather, were there with the Ark of the Covenant of Elohim. And when the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah came into the camp, all Yashara'el shouted with a great shout, so that the earth rang again. And when the Peleshitim heard at the noise of the shout, they said, What mean the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Ivrim? And they understood that the Ark of Yahuwah was come into the camp. And the Peleshitim were afraid, for they said, Elohim is come into the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there has not been such a thing heretofore. Woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty Elohim. These are the Elohim that smote eth the Mitzrim, with all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong and be yourselves like men, O ye Peleshitim, that ye be not servants unto the Ivrim as they have been to you. Be yourselves like men and fight. And the Peleshitim fought, and Yashara El was smitten. And they fled, every man into his tent. And there was a very great slaughter, for there fell of Yashara'el thirty thousand footmen. And the ark of Elohim was taken, and the two sons of Eli, Chapani and Painichach, were slain. And there ran a man of Binyamin out of the army, and came to Shiloh the same day with his clothes rent and with earth upon his head. And when he came, lo, Ali sat upon a seat by the wayside watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of Elohim. And when the man came into the city and told it, all the city cried out. And when Ali heard at the noise of the crying, he said, What mean the noise of this tumult? And the man came in hastily and told Eli. Now Eli was ninety and eight years old, and his eyes were dim that he could not see. And the man said unto Eli, 
I am he that came out of the army, and I fled today out of the army. And he said, What is there done, my son? And the messenger answered and said, Yashara'el is fled before the Peleshitim, and there has been also a great slaughter among the people. And your two sons also, Chopni and Pinechach, are dead, and the Ark of Elohim is taken. And it came to pass, when he had made mention of Eth the Ark of Elohim, that he fell from off the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck broke, and he died. For he was an old man and heavy, and he had judged Eth Yashara'el forty years. And his daughter-in-law, Paini Chach's woman, was with child, near to be delivered. And when she heard the tidings that the Ark of Elohim was taken, and that her father-in-law and her man were dead, she bowed herself and travailed, for her pains came upon her. And about the time of her death, the woman, rather, women that stood by her said unto her, Fear not, for you have borne a son. But she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the child Ikavad, saying, The glory is departed from Yashara'el, because the ark of Elohim was taken and because of her father-in-law and her man. And she said, The glory is departed from Yashara'el, for the Ark of Elohim is taken.